Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a love and romance reading for you all. Let's see what is showing up and what advice is Spirit wanting to bring to you through the cards. I hope you're all doing great, of course. Um, stick around, even if love is not necessarily what you want to, you know, find out about. Every single reading I feel has something that you can take away with you. If not, just space to hang out and chill. All right, let's see. So right now, there is a lot of collaboration and teamwork in your life, whether it is about love or in other areas. You may find that there are connections forming um, because of these circumstances, okay? So let's say that you are working on a team. Let's say that at work, there is this project that you're all working towards or something that a lot of different people are wanting to complete. You may notice that there's a lot of love kind of showing up here and there with coworkers. You may see it as something external or it may be also happening to you. You may meet someone or maybe deepen a connection with someone due to um, teamwork or some kind of collaboration. This can be very exciting. At the same time, some of you may be um, seeking therapy, perhaps, or some kind of emotional support to help you navigate this area of your life. Some of you may be getting back on your feet, maybe from a breakup or a separation, and maybe you have a team in place to help you out with this. Take it if it resonates. I see here that some of you are yeah maybe grieving something that was something that was and is no longer there could be a lot of transformation happening but in your mind i do sense optimism you do have the sun card and look at how beautiful this illustration is you may be feeling more optimistic about love faith could be returning to you Maybe at some point you have given up on the idea of romantic, healthy, good, pure love. And now you're going from that darkness, from that hopelessness perhaps, to a very bright outlook on romance. And some of you may be even thinking about a Leo. You may have a Leo in your mind. You may have a fire sign very present in your thoughts. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be something, someone that you're crushing on, someone who's extremely fiery and sexy. This could be um, definitely a Leo. I see lions here everywhere. So some of you, yeah, you may be thinking about that person from your past, or you may be thinking about that person you just shared a space with um, while working together or whatever. Someone that you have a crush on or something like that. It could very well be someone from your past because you do have the Six of Cups, all right? You may be thinking about someone who you've known since childhood for some of you or that you've shared a lot of beautiful things together in the past and they give you kind of like the sense of nostalgia a little bit. Some of you... Some of you are really craving having some fun with this area of your life at this time. Some of you are really craving maybe having some kind of one night stand or sexual connection of some sort with the Knight of Wands representing you. Maybe you're craving kind of like going in and out of someone's life and just, you know, not necessarily committing. You may be in this energy of like, I just want to have a good time. Maybe in the recent past, you were more in the energy of romance, whether you're in a relationship or not. Okay, take it if it resonates. Maybe you have gone through kind of like a, a shift in which you may have been very focused on emotion, loyalty, stability, connection. And maybe at this time, you're working more with the energy of passion and excitement and a desire for that physical connection. Take it if it resonates. In your environment, with the star card here, 
there is someone around you already that is your wish fulfillment, Pisces. That wish fulfillment that maybe some of you think is unattainable or is never gonna come into your life or anything like that is already around. So maybe look around to the people that you feel connected to. Look around at everybody in your life from a perspective of possibility and you may be surprised at what you find. Some of you want to manifest love, but you may be a little bit afraid of going into this area. Magically speaking, manifestationally speaking, you may feel like there is the one and that person is or isn't supposed to be for you. And if you're not finding love, maybe there's a reason for it and you don't want to intervene. And that's perfectly fine. I totally understand that. But some of you are more in a proactive um, vibe and you're like, you know what? I want love. I deserve love. And I know that there's tons of possible the ones in the world. So I'm pretty much opening the door to that through manifestation, through magic, through alignment, whatever it may be. Some of you are afraid to do that. And I see that there is this back and forth. Some of you may be contemplating two people, two possibilities. Maybe you like this person that you can have a future with. Maybe you like this other person you can have um, a reconnection with, maybe someone from the past. Mercury retrograde is coming soon, so I wouldn't be surprised you know, if that kind of floats to the surface. And you may be thinking and going back and forth, back and forth between possibilities in the near future. Should I give a chance to this person? Should I not? Should I manifest love? Should I not? But at the end of the day, the energy that I feel is going to be the strongest here is the Page of Wands. So a desire for fun and excitement and passion. I feel like you're going to be prioritizing your happiness and your joy. And if you want love, this is going to be mag like magnetized to you just because you're having so much fun. Just because you're having a good time exploring, maybe exploring different cultures, art, um, you know, different foods, traveling, I don't know, having a lot of fun. While doing that, your frequency is going to become very magnetic. And if you are trying to manifest love, that love is going to come to you. Now, let's interpret this whole reading as, you know, a message for those of you who are in a relationship. I see that there is a lot of collaboration, teamwork. You're building something important together. There is a lot of equal give and take. And I see here with the sun in your mind space that there are dreams that you have together. There are goals that you have together, things that you want to live and experience. There could be a bit of grief still being sort of pushed out of your system, maybe wounds from the past that may or may not be related to love. I see here that this could be um, a soulmate, someone you have a very deep and strong affinity with on a soul level, the person that you're with right now. I see that in the past, you have gone through so many things that have finally got kind of like made you become the person that can sustain a very healthy, long-term, ideal love. And I see you doing that right now, sustaining that love. In the future, there may be a lot of decisions that need to be made. Together, some of your decisions will be influenced by your person. Some of their decisions will be influenced by you. So there may be kind of a time in which many, many decisions need to be made and it will be um, priority for negotiation to happen almost. Right now, there seems to be a lot of passion and adventure and sexual energy either wanting to manifest or manifesting at this time. There could also be, like your relationship could be surrounded at this time with wish fulfillment, meaning that you're living with this person, maybe in the place that you want to live, in the country you want to live. Maybe you're experiencing dates in the places you want to go. 
whatever it may be, it seems like the environment is what you want it to be, what you both want it to be. With hopes and fears, there could be a lot of um, desire for more, but a fear to desire more out of destabilizing the current manifestation, if that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> I see in the future for you both as a couple that you're going to be traveling a lot, that you're going to be enjoying life so much, being able to be very passionate and excited and inspired. Lots of art, music, writing, lots of colors everywhere, you know, lots of very vibrant experiences. So a lot of beautiful, beautiful energies here. There is a flushing of um, grief that is going on. For the singles, it's a replacement from a very dark perspective on love to a very, very bright perspective of love. And for those in a relationship, it's just kind of like maybe just letting go of something that um, is ready to be released. 11-11 in the clock right there. So yeah, lots of passion and excitement, Pisces. I absolutely love this. Please go ahead and check the description box below. In the first link, you will find the bookings for the manifestation sessions. Half of April is already booked, but we're still having some spots by for the second half. So please make sure to book yours. Prices are going to be increasing in the future. You guys know that I don't always offer things kind of like permanently. So it's kind of like a now thing. So if you would like to reconnect, maybe continue to work on the manifestations that we have already, you know, talked about before. Or if you would like to start a whole new process to manifest a whole new something or someone, just let me know, okay? I love you so much and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye!